Hello fellow racing fans, today we're going to take a look at Rehi Racing's track creation mode. First thing we're going to do is open up our racing tablet. You can do this either by using a command or using an in-game item, whichever way you prefer. Once our tablet is open, we're going to navigate to the Tracks tab and hit the plus sign. We've now made it to the Track Creation tab. We don't need to worry about the track name or description right now as we can assign those later. Our next step is turning on track creation mode, and we can do that by pressing the button right here, as you can see on the lower right part of the video. There is a track recording indicator along with a default key binds the script comes with. You can obviously customize these to your liking via the configuration. So what I usually do is place a set of flags at the start with a checkpoint right between the flags. Please note that the objects themselves aren't checkpoints. Objects are used to guide racers on the track, to block off paths you don't want racers to take, or for aesthetic purposes. We're going to block off this grass path right around the first corner. We don't want people to cut over the grass, so we're going to place some tires to block off this path. Note that you can use most of the vanilla GTA 5 objects by just placing them in the config, so anything from metal barriers to neon lights, for example. For the sake of simplicity, we're sticking with the default objects. Now, uh, uh, excuse me while I get unstuck. We're going to place our second checkpoint right on this corner. Checkpoints should be placed in the middle of the track. You can adjust the distance of how near the player has to be to a checkpoint for it to count in the configuration, along with many other things. Let's place some flags on the track for decoration. And now we're at a corner where tires are actually useful to guide racers and letting them know in advance that they have to turn. Obviously you can also see this from the GPS, but eye level visual aid is always preferred. And a checkpoint here, and we're going to block off this part as well so you absolutely can't go wrong. There is no need to worry if you accidentally misplace an object. You can delete them by navigating close to them and then hitting your delete keybind, which by default is left control. This also applies to misplaced checkpoints. As we're creating a circuit, there is no need to place a checkpoint on the starting checkpoint. The script will automatically tie the last and first checkpoint together for circuit tracks. Boom, so there we have it. Now it's time to name the track and write down a small description, and we hit Create Track. Now let's have a test run around our newly created track. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments.